Hello dudes, what's going on? I have been having a bit of a lazy day today. I didn't get up till like 12 o'clock. Probably because I went to bed so late and my body doesn't really know what's going on anymore with this whole jet lag thing. <clears throat> One thing's for sure, I need to get back into a good habit. Um, I have just been editing a vlog, catching up with work, sorting websites out, generally being quite productive for the last four hours. Um, but I just had a, a phone call from Johnny Schofield, who's my friend from canoeing, and we used to paddle together. But he's in town, up my end, so we're going to go for dinner in a bit. In the meantime, I've put a little tweet out saying, ask Ben, and um, I've got quite a lot of questions come through, interesting ones. First one is, what's your favourite country? It's got to be South Africa, to be honest. Ellis asked me, do I support a football team? No, I don't Don't really like football, to be honest. Connor Flynn just asked me, what inspires you to make videos? Well, um, everything really. I mean, I have a little bit of a fascination of documenting what I do, especially the things I love, um, be that through video or uh, photos, um, which is why I love Instagram, because I just think it's such a beautiful timeline of everything you've done in your life. Um, but also I think video and vlogs just takes it to the next level. You have a much more interaction with people who watch the videos um, and you have an opportunity to um, inspire and get a positive message across to anybody in the world who wants to watch a video. So you guys inspire me. Someone called Kirsty asked me, if you could be doing anything or be anywhere right now, what would you be doing? Uh, it's quite an easy one for me. I'd be in Cape Town with Nicole and we'd be surfing, chilling on a beach, maybe doing a road trip, um, camping, adventuring, and just hanging out. What's um, your, gonna be your next major destination for travel? I'm not sure, heading back to Cape Town soon, but kind of done that. I wanna explore South Africa a lot more generally, but I've got a hankering, a hankering to go to South America. Yeah, have you got any advice or tips for photographers and your best camera choices. Well, now, technology is so good now these days that you basically can't really go too wrong with the camera. And if you wanna take things a little bit more professionally, one with an interchangeable lens, digital SLR. And my advice would be invest in good glass, get good lenses, because they're ultimately the thing that determines how sharp and good your photos are. Ew, it's raining. Alex Gilbertson, are you gonna get any more tattoos? Yes. What advice would you give for anybody who's a future aspiring filmmaker or photographer? If you're a filmmaker, my advice would be film everything and stick it on a hard drive and keep it. Because the one thing I kind of regret is throwing away footage that could have been useful to me now. Um, there's nothing quite like having old, old school footage in new videos. Check out Casey Neistat's videos. He always refers back to old footage years ago and he's got all of his footage um, archived in his offices. I just think that's fantastic. So keep your footage. What motivates me to stay productive? That's a good question. Growth and feedback are what motivates me to stay productive. I keep putting out videos and people keep enjoying them. I like that you like them, so I'm having fun making them. Um, and that's what encourages me to be productive. And in between that, I think there are a lot of other avenues that I want to explore. And I don't like feeling like I'm wasting my time. Um, we're only here for us, well, we don't even know how long we're gonna be on this planet for. Um, and I want to make as big an impact as I possibly can in a good way. So, yeah, that's what keeps me uh, productive. Right now I'm working on a video from a friend whose company's uh, Bamboo Warehouse. I shot it when I was last in Cape Town and it really should have been done by now, so I'm cracking on with that. Um, I actually used the FS700 Sony for this, so it's like super slow motion, quite nice shots. Yeah, it's gonna be good. This person's asked me, what color is your toothbrush? Well, it's pink, obviously. Uh, Mr. Lewis Pugh has asked me, when are you gonna start training again? Well, Lewis, um, when I've got time and when it becomes a priority. I don't know, at the moment, I'm, I do feel like I need to start doing some training though, to be honest. Um, but I'm just having too much fun making videos and I 
guess I can do both. But I do actually really need to start doing some exercise again. Edgar Sanchez just asked me a really good question. If you could play one sport professionally instead of kayaking, what would it be? 100% surfing. Professional surfer. Boom. Best lifestyle ever. Jasmine Manders. Would you rather travel the world in a day or go to the moon for a day? Silly question. Kind of. Um, I legit, we, me and Lou were talking about this the other day uh, with Steve, we legit want to go to the moon. Kieran Adams says, will you ever do a meetup? Uh, I really want to do a meetup, but I just don't want to organise one and then have like three people turn up and two of them by accident. Um, so I think I want to do a meetup before I go to Cape Town again, but I think I'm going to rope Louis and Steve into it. Jen A says, do you plan on coming to New York soon? Yes, 100%. <laughs> I'm so excited about New York now that I've been to America. Um, genuinely want to get stuck into New York. Maybe stay there for like a couple of weeks and really explore the place, you know, do a visual vibes. Right, let's go and see this Johnny Schofield fella. Mason just asked me, am I gonna do a You Now broadcast this week? Yes, I'm sorry I haven't done one in a while. Livy Ryan says, Mr. Ben Brown, if you could be an animal for a day, what would you be? Um, a dolphin. Imagine being a dolphin for a day. Just imagine in your mind being a dolphin. Okay, I've come to Royal Canoe Club to meet Johnny, because he's been doing a training session, and I've got to wind this thing to get over there. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you're videoing me. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> you. do you do that? Yeah, get used to that. <laughs> Check out Johnny's cool Nello. How wicked is that? He's got two more on the way. Johnny, by the way, is the guy I used to paddle with. So... Oh, that's true, you yeah, know. Yeah, I used to slow him down quite a lot, but now not so much. A lot of talk. Yeah. Come to um, one of my favourite pubs, the Anglers for a bit of grub, because they do good food here. Yeah, you're poking out a little bit on the ends, Johnny. <laughs> My other mate, Johnny Ty, drives around with a K1 on the roof like that, but he's got one of the original minis, like old school minis. He's a nutter. I miss that boy. So there's your mac and cheese. I think. Yeah, that's yeah. me. Look Cheers. out this, thank you, mate. <laughs> thank <Cheers>. you. <laughs> right, Johnny, what have you gone for? Hello. I seem to have got half my mac and cheese. A half a mac and cheese? Is that the girl's portion? <laughs> Shame, man. We can have some of my burger. Oh, it's okay. It's deep. It's deep. It's deep. It's all right. <laughs> Guys, don't judge me, but I've, I've come for another coffee. Mate, I feel like maybe I'm slightly... Actually, to be fair, this is my first one today. Good editing tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna. I've got a lot of work. I've got so a lot of work to do tonight. <laughs> Another brilliant meal from the Anglers Pub. See you later, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for dinner, man. Bye. Nice hey, to man. catch nice up to with you. you. I'm saying something nice. Okay. Um. Have a good winter's training, and I might see you in Cape Town. Yeah. See you there. Okay. Cheerio. Well, that was. Well long overdue seeing Johnny. Um, such a nice catch up with him. I stopped sprinting three years ago. Wow. And Johnny carried on. That's when 200 meter racing came about and Johnny is a 200 meter specialist. Um, you guys want to Google Johnny. He got a bronze medal in London. K2 200 meters with Liam Heath. They smashed it and they've had so many medals at World Championships, European Championships, um, World Cups, all sorts, and they're just, they're amazeballs. Definitely need to see him more often, and I definitely need to see the other canoeing guys um, before I go to Cape Town. I miss those guys. I miss being in, involved with sport like that. Um, not so much that I'd go back straight into it, uh, because I'm really enjoying what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, yeah, uh, I miss feeling like, I miss feeling physically fit. Um, athletes are very, generally very healthy human beings and you don't realise how healthy you were until you let it slip. Alright guys, it's time for me to hit the hay. 
Um, thank you so much to everybody who tweeted questions to me. Hopefully I answered a, a few of the interesting ones for you. I've just been working on my website, to be honest. It's been a bit of a pain. Um, but as soon as it's up and running, I'll let you guys know. And I'll hopefully put some content up there for you. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'll say goodbye. Remember to work hard, be nice to people, and don't get lost or killed. Okay, love you, bye. Oh, well, this is fancy. Are you ready for this bit? Are you ready yeah. for this? Yeah, yeah. good. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my god, it's pushing me into the ground. So much. What up, London? So we're back here, guys. We're back at the Duck and Waffle.